Hello, this is Vic. In this video, I will see submitting AJAX request with the get method and also with the values. Previously, we are just uh, using get request and uh, not using any data. Here, I will pass this name with the get request so that we can reuse in AJAX.php and uh, return this data. I am copying this code and creating a new file in our basics directory. And I will save this as a JSON, JSON data html so that you can go through this file later i'm commenting this json line and i'm commenting this text and we don't need this json line anyway i'm removing it and uh, i'll remove it uh, i need this console log i'm uncommenting ajax result and removing this author won't choose this author here instead of a json it's a text and here also inside ajax result div i'm removing this uh, paragraph tag from ol2 i'm updating ordered list to div tag okay everything seems fine as per our request as per our requirement but uh, here we need to create a url variable to pass uh, values i'll pass this to ajax.php file question mark name equals to value here I am using my name and a semicolon. Here inside open function, instead of json.php file, it's a URL. For variable, we don't have to use uh, quote marks. Okay, it's a get method sending a name variable. I'll use a dollar underscore get name here instead of name. I'm closing this JSON and arrays. We should get this name back in our index.html here uh, getting a result author is not defined so i'll fix this error here on line number 21 it's a ajax result instead of author so if i reload and test i should uh, say output from uh, ajax.php file we are not getting anything back i think uh, we have problem I'll test it with ajax.php file. I'll pass this name here. Any name. We are not getting anything back here. I think uh, there is a problem with the echo. It's correct. We are not echoing it. If I reload, we should see this message. And uh, if I reload this page, we are getting this uh, output. And uh, we can update this uh, name here inside uh, index.html. And I should reload it because I made changes in index.html. And we can test with any name here. It works the same. This data is using a, a get response. So we can update as many times as we want. It's not feasible. I am just uh, passing it manually. I will see how we can pass this through input field. Here I am updating and commenting console log message. So we can see this message here. For that we need to reload because I made changes in index.html. I'm seeing if I update this uh, CSS style from red to blue, we don't have to make any changes. You can just make a new request, then it's there. That's the difference between these two requests. They are passing data from index.html to ajax.php but we are passing manually i will work on sending this data to data through input field in next video number of requests are adding up based on the request count